Hello, welcome to another video. Umut here. Today I'm going to work on my napkin journal. And uh, this is what I use uh, as my napkin journal. It's a mixed media uh, traveler's notebook style that I create myself. Um, and it's very easy to do. So I'm going to link the video up in the cards and down below at the description area for you to see. You can use anything you like. It doesn't matter as long as uh, your pages uh, can uh, take water a little bit so that you can use different mediums. That's why I use a uh, mixed media paper. I'm just uh, removing the backing of my uh, napkin. And the, these are very beautiful watercolor uh, style poppies with a striking uh, background. So it makes a really nice contrast. And I love this, uh, these colors together. So I'm just ripping off a couple of parts, uh, one smaller and one bigger, uh, to place them in opposite corners. It's a composition that I use uh, and like a lot and it's a very safe one. So if you're having difficulty in arranging your uh, things on the page, just uh, you can use this uh, opposite corners, uh, one side uh, bigger than the other, uh, so that there is a nice uh, balance for the eye. Today I'm doing something different and uh, not uh, placing my napkin uh, just right away. I'm going to spray first my pages. For that I'm, I'm using Dina Wakely's uh, acrylic sprays in turquoise and white. Uh, I'm having a little bit difficulty uh, moving the nozzle. It happens, it gets stuck sometimes but then it works. I didn't put anything on my pages like gesso or anything. Uh, I'm just spraying it uh, on the pages. Uh, and I'm mixing white and uh, turquoise as I said. I also sprayed a little bit water for a lighter uh, application, right, lighter look. And I'm just uh, uh, closing one page over the other and drying my page. So this will be my base. And then I'm going to stick uh, glue my um, napkins with matte medium. And I will work from there to see uh, how I can uh, make this napkin disappear into the page and uh, become a nice piece of art. There's a bit of difference between the colors. The spray is more of a blue and uh, the background of the napkin is a bit of a mint green. But don't worry, I'm going to working on it and in the end uh, you won't realize this is a napkin. I'll just uh, cut the excess of the napkin after uh, sticking, sticking it down. And then I'm going to uh, glue the other part of the napkin, this uh, smaller flower. And I am doing it uh, off the page uh, again. I love uh, leaving things off the page. Because it gives the eye uh, the perception of infinity. There is something going on after that. And it makes uh, it brings more depth uh, to your project. So I would definitely recommend this uh, technique. Uh, after I stick it, uh, I'm going to use paints. But before that, I wanted to show you something new I got. Uh, this is Art Guard from Minzer and Newton. And it's the cream that you put in your hands before uh, working with paint or any other mediums. It's something for artists. And uh, because the paints uh, we are using are toxic, I just wanted to show you uh, an option that you can protect your hands. Or even uh, if you have uh, sensitive hands uh, or uh, other uh, skin conditions maybe. So uh, this is a very good option or you can always use uh, gloves. Um, I just uh, I'm using it for the first time myself and I realized that it's not greasy, it's not sticky. It's very comfortable, very moisturizing at the same time. And uh, I don't feel there is cream after a while, like I forget. Uh, so I really liked it and I uh, kept using it after this uh, as well. Uh, I bought it from a local art shop, but I'm going to put the name for you down below uh, for you to Google and find uh, if there is any in your uh, area, uh, if there is a shop that has it. Or you can look at Amazon maybe. In the meantime, I took out uh, one of my distress paints, uh, cracked pistachio, and I am using my hand now that it's safe uh, to uh, spread all my paint uh, around the napkins. This is a bit more uh, green and as you see 
Uh, now it's not possible to tell. This is a napkin. I am also going over my flowers and napkin a little bit uh, to create more uh, unity uh, and harmony all around the page. And then I'm going to splash some white with my uh, spray again, the Naveli spray. Uh, I decided to do a nice border for this page uh, that will catch some interest. So I'm using one of my border stamps. This is from Limor Weber. It's called Rugged uh, Edges. Uh, I'm not sure if it's available. Uh, I will put the name down below again uh, if you can find it. But if you can't, this is easily uh, doable uh, with hand as well. If you use a ro ruler and uh, a pen, a black pen, uh, it's uh, really possible to do the same. Or you can use whatever stamp you have. I'll just go around the edges uh, and uh, stamp it with my archival black ink. I don't care if it's not perfect, if there are missing parts, it doesn't bother me. Uh, I like it more imperfect actually. And I am using my white uh, acrylic pen uh, from uh, Posca. Uh, I would uh, recommend to get one white uh, Posca pen uh, for any project. It's very versatile that you can use. Um, the tip of my pen is uh, 5M and as you see I'm using my uh, black uh, pen fine liner uh, from Micron uh, to just complete the missing parts of my uh, stamping. Robert Castell is uh, also doing this kind of fine, fine liner sets. Uh, mine is Micron and uh, there is also Faber Castell. And I'm going to fill some of these uh, squares uh, with white paint that will create a nice contrast with all the colors and black and white. You will see that it looks very striking. And then from my uh, new antiquarian sticker book, uh, I found this J. Uh, at the end they have all the letters in different uh, styles which I love. Uh, and actually the pattern of this J inspired me to do all this border. I did it because I saw this letter when I was flipping through my sticker book. I'm just cutting the edges around it to leave it alone. And of course I'm going to go around it with my black brush pen to get rid of the white edges. And I am using it as the first letter of my sentiment which is very short, joy. And uh, I'm going to complete it with this Tim Holtz tall letter uh, alphabet set using my uh, archival ink to stamp uh, the rest of the sentiment. And afterwards, uh, I think I want a couple of butterflies uh, flying around. Uh, this is uh, from Stampendus. It's called Butterflies and it has many butterflies. I'm going to uh, get the two smallest ones. Just to use it with black ink, I don't want to do any coloring. Just to add some more interest and a couple of more uh, images to my project. And this also increases the contrast between the very light background and the black that comes on top. And finally I'm going to do black splashes but with a very thin brush so that I don't have black blobs uh, on my uh, beautiful project. And I think it looks very nice with the little little uh, splashes. And I will call this project done. I really love it. I love these contrasting colors. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe, like or comment. There is a playlist that I will link here with all my napkin journals if you are interested to watch others. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.